like 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 because we live under capitalism. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Well, folks, it's time for pain, and what better way to discuss the most controversial topic in America, skin color? Then with varying levels of insane left-wing cultists hosted by Vice News. Wow, we stick around because this is going to be like schizophrenically slowly losing your mind over the course of years, but in minutes with me. But first, if you haven't noticed, it's not just America, but the entire world that seems to be coming apart. With World War III, and yes, even nuclear war being a real possibility, it's time to prepare. You can do that by going to preparewithdronetech.com and stocking up on your emergency food storage. You're gonna need it, so now is the time to get it before it's too late. When you do, you'll also get $200 worth of survival gear as a free bonus, which you can see when you go to preparewithdronetech.com. Your $200 bonus gift comes free with each three month emergency food kit you order. That way, everyone in your family can be prepared. This offer won't last forever, so take care of it now and have peace of mind. Check this off your list and sleep better knowing your family won't suffer if the worst ever happens. All right, strap yourselves in because I was not kidding about the pain. Real quick though, before we start, let me make it very clear that I'm a firm believer in treating people like I wanna be treated. I don't hate people or deride them for their intrinsic qualities, whether it be skin color, sex, orientation, or whatever, that's not what I'm about. The whole reason that I'm covering this clip is because I believe that their way of dealing with race is wrong. I think it's gonna take us backwards. I think the far left is driving this and I think it's basically a racial religious cult. And I do think that a lot of this stuff is being driven by some kind of ideological subversion. Maybe at one point driven by our enemies, but now definitely being driven by the victims of this mind virus. The curriculum at schools that's derived from critical race theory, the diversity, equity, and inclusion re-education camps, and so-called intersectionality lead to this insanity and I believe need to be stopped because otherwise we're going backwards. Now, Lastly, really quick before we start, I do want to point out that there is not a single right-leaning person on this panel, or at least nobody that's non-left-wing. They are all Marxists, varying degrees, you know, of uh, socialist up to communist. And from what I can see, these people are the equivalent of foot soldiers of the Chinese Red Guard. Hi, my name is Koa, and I identify as biracial. I think about colorism as a distinct hierarchy that is anchored in a proximity to whiteness. Oh, uh, okay. So <laughs> that is straight up cult lingo talk, or as Orwell called it, newspeak. All you really need to know is that white people are bad and they're the reason for all of your problems. Hi, my name is Maya. I use they, them pronouns and I'm black. Institutional <laughs> power plus prejudice. Darker skinned people as a class of people do not have the ability, the institutional power to, for example, put you in prison for longer sentences true. because of being lighter skinned or, you know, having less access to employment. I mean, that's uh, that's craziness. OK, first of all, all the things that she listed off there at the beginning, uh, she, her pronouns and she's black, like we can already see those things. But we don't need them listed. But. Her doing that is sort of the equivalent of a Catholic doing the cross sign, you know, on their chest before prayer. And before anybody gets upset, I was raised Catholic, so it's okay for me to do that. <laughs> it is a religious rite, okay, that she's doing there. And she's also letting us know that, one, she's down with the cult, okay? She is in the cult. She is a member of it. And her hierarchy on this or intersectionality pecking order is she's way up there. She's very high ranking. I think maybe the only way that she could be higher is if she was in a wheelchair. And so you should think twice about questioning anything she says. And I'm sorry, but black people do have institutional power. That is not even arguable. And they're putting white people in prison all the time. There's white people with cancer, old white people rotting in prison right now in DC for trespassing, the high crime of trespassing. While black and white rioters actually that were Democrats had all their charges dropped because the DA prosecutor dropped all their charges and the black vice president uh, promoted bail funds to get them out of jail. The knowledge that colorism affects lighter skinned people? 
There's no such thing as reverse colorism. Same way there's no such thing as reverse racism, reverse <laughs> sexism. Being yes. Uh, okay. So I'm sorry I keep stopping this, but I have to. How can I not comment on that? She is using her position of power in this hierarchy to declare that applying her own standards against her is against the rules. You can't do that. And what makes things worse is just all these idiots standing around this panel nodding in agreement like they're trained seals. They can be as racist and colorist to you, lowly, lowly white people, as they want, but you can't accuse them of being racist or colorist. That's how that works. How convenient for them. And don't you actually see white people and lighter skin colored people going to great lengths to brown their skin? Some people uh, feel so compelled to do this that they get cancer and die from it. I don't think I've ever heard it framed that way, of course, in the media or anywhere else, because according to the cult rules, like she just stated, it's you can't do that. Being a lighter person, I do experience a tremendous amount of privilege. And <laughs> we need to talk about how this is like a capitalist enterprise that is invested in <laughs> people like, on their skin. That's like, that to me, oh, like, yeah, it's everybody's I think nodding. That that's why it's important to like remember like who benefits. Like. Oh, yeah, who benefits from cap? None of these people look like they're benefiting from capitalism, right? They'd be much better off in a communist hellhole somewhere. Way better off in North Korea or, you know. <laughs> it's always, like, they're just showing who they are. Not only are they displaying uh, all the symptoms of somebody who's part of a Marxist cult, but they're straight up saying that capitalism is the enemy because they are communists and they have a brain virus that was spread by our communist enemies. Let's say me and Kelvin were in a group chat with a non-black person and they sent a gift that could be considered a black gift. I think it's, and I, I accuse them of digital blackface, but he doesn't. And, and <laughs> digital blackface because somebody who's not black posted a gif, an animated gif of a black person. That shows you the mental state of mind of these folks. And, and so pause it there because uh, you, you guys were saying like, just because something's happening or like, if we have different feelings on it, whose point of view determines if something is actually happening or not, or if we're still in the realm of opinion and feeling? I think as a non-black person, if even one black person told me something's not okay, I would listen to them. It could be one out of a hundred. <laughs> Yes, slave. Yes, it is. Because you're giving me the power to determine how you interact with. But it's black really yes. not that much power to not use a gift that's not meant for me. <laughs> oh, the gift isn't meant for her. She's just a. She's like a third, like a third class, lowly creature of a white person who. She's not allowed to use a GIF with a black person. That's not meant for her. It's a black person. What in the world? Folks, this is what decades worth of increasingly intense anti-white propaganda has done to white people in America. I mean, she doesn't look like, maybe she is, I don't know. She, she keeps saying her light skin is giving her privilege. So maybe she doesn't consider herself white. Uh, but white people, and this is just the truth. I used to be a left winger who was very much like this okay i bought into all this stuff um you know thought that white people were generally horrible but i was one of the good ones because i was down with the struggle and it's funny i didn't i never really saw it that way until i got, started listening to rush limbaugh who i hated uh, originally but eventually i started to see what he was talking about and then i got a first-hand experience at my college uh involving the black israeliites so i'm not going to go into that but uh, white people are made to hate themselves and other whites. Uh, and not just hate other whites, but be suspicious of them. And if the white person doesn't join this cult and act subservient, like a subservient slave, like this lady thinks she has to be, and I'm not saying that black people are like making her feel this way. There is some something uh, guide, you know, guiding all of this. I don't know what it is. It seems to be a lot of white people involved in it. So I'm not like blaming a racial group, but... Uh, she definitely <laughs> is suffering the consequences of that. But if the white person doesn't join the cult, doesn't act subservient like this, they're considered a bad white, which also really fits into the whole Mao's revolution and the fact that this all you know, originates from Marxism and critical race theory, which originates from critical theory, which had played a big part in the Red uh, Mouse Revolution. She is essentially volunteering herself for third class status because she thinks that's the only way 
to escape our society's judgment of her as inherently bad because of her skin color. Who, who said it's not meant for you? If we create content as black people, we're not posting it on a, a website where only black people can get into it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Why is he speaking when, sense suddenly? When, when people misuse the, in, the, the, the content that we have <laughs> and abuse it, what? but I can't tell you what gift. I mean, if it has the N-word in it real big, I'm gonna take offense to that, but you already knew that, you already knew that. But if it's like, if it's like a, a niche, popular black person who does comedy and you and you post their GIF, I'm not gonna say, well, hey, hey, slow down. Like, I don't- Like, wasn't he the one that was calling it digital blackface earlier? I'm so confused by this guy. Like, it seems like he's confused. Maybe he, almost seems like he's close to realizing this is a bunch of craziness. But he, it's like he falls back into it. Like, you think for a minute he's coming out of it, but he just dies right back in. We don't need permission from you on how to view or use your content. I mean, outside of obviously copyright laws, but like outside of that, my skin color does not mean that I need permission or anything like that to use content that was made by a black person. The fact that this white person thinks that for her to use it, like she needs permission or it's like a privilege. I mean, that's brainwashing. That, that's And even this guy's like, what the hell is wrong with you? She wanted an easier life. So I'm just like, I think about like, why are there so many material benefits of being lighter? <laughs> also, how do we make a world that goes both ways? Where like, darker skinned people don't have to do this, like, don't have to. Like, I think that I'm what? interested in creating a world or like moving towards a world where we don't have like these very clear, like, <clears throat> straight up pigmentocracy, like, straight up, like, like hierarchies of shade that are like rooted in anti blackness that like are influenced by white supremacy, all these <laughs> things like that are inter interconnected with one another. I but really feel like it's never gonna change. I mean, all these things that are interconnected. How is what she just laid out there not the same thing as the Pepe Silva conspiracy? You know, this is just crazy. Like this, all this stuff just exists in her head. All these people's heads, like they imprison themselves and they create these hierarchies in their heads. Like if they just lived their lives and went about their lives and treated people like they want to be treated, uh, they wouldn't have to deal with these things. These are. Uh, things that these people like impose on themselves. The only way that she's gonna get the world that she wants is just to get rid of all the lighter skinned people or all the undesirable people in her perfect world or subjugate people and control them, control their thoughts, control how they perceive things. I mean, the, these people, it's interesting that they all clearly come from a Marxist far left perspective and communism in general, socialism, these things are anti-human, they're anti uh, uh, human nature and they seek to control human nature, which you're never going to be able to do. All right, folks, I think I've had just about enough of that. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button, share and subscribe and leave a comment to join the discussion. Thanks a lot. I'll see you on the next one.